Long ago, when the Nahuatl language dominated Anahua, the Valley of Mexico, there lived a wise and noble emperor, the Tlatuani, who was loved by his people. But the Tlatuani yearned for a child to carry forth his legacy. One day, his dream came true when his beautiful baby girl was born. He named her Istasiwat, Nahuatl for White Lady. As she grew, she blossomed into a vision of grace and beauty, capturing the hearts of all who knew her. The young Istasiwatl fell in love with a handsome young brave warrior named Popocatépetl. Popocatépetl, too, was smitten by Istasiwatl and wanted to marry her. But the clouds of war loomed heavy as a neighboring tribe wanted to invade. And soon, Popocatépetl was called on to defend his people. Before leaving for war, Popocatépetl asked for Isatzihuatl's hand in marriage. The Tlatuani happily agreed as he wanted his legacy to endure. He would allow the two to marry once Popocatépetl returned triumphant from the war. The brave warrior accepted and left to war, keeping Isatzihuatl in his heart. After several weeks of combat, a rival warrior who hated Popocatep sent a false message to the Tlatuani. The message said that his army had won the war, but that Popocatepetl had died in battle. The Tlatuani was saddened by the report, but when Isasiwatl heard, she was inconsolable. <laughs> Unable to bear the weight of her broken heart, the princess died, not knowing that it was all a lie, and leaving her people in deep mourning. As the Tlatuani prepared for Istasiwatl's funeral, Popocatepetl and his men arrived victorious from battle. The Tlatuani was taken aback when he saw Popocatepetl and offered him the throne. Popocatepetl turned it down. The only thing he wanted was to marry Isasiwatl. In a fit of rage, Popocatepetl killed the warrior who had sent the deceptive message to the Tlatuani. Then, with a heavy heart, Popocatepetl carried Isasiwatl's lifeless body away, embarking on a pilgrimage that transcended life and death. On the sacred mountains, Popocatepetl built her a great tomb under the sun to ensure she would never be forgotten. Then, he laid the princess's body on the tomb and knelt in vigil, a sentinel in sorrow. The young warrior refused to leave his love and stayed to watch over her eternal sleep. Overwhelmed by grief, Popocatépetl eventually, too, died of sorrow, joining his beloved in the realm beyond. Over time, snow covered their bodies, and the gods, touched by their love, transformed the ill-fated lovers into majestic volcanoes. This way, they could remain together until the end of time. When Popocatépetl remembers his beloved, his heart which preserves the eternal fire of passion, shakes and fills the basin of Mexico with smoke. To this day, Popocatépetl, the smoking mountain, continues to spew smoke for Istasiwatl, his white lady, who rests peacefully by his side. The two peaks stand as eternal monuments to a legacy of love. <laughs>